Yeehaw! Welcome back to the Southern Snack. Where life is too short to be serious. Oh man, Chick Fil A, you got competition. Albeit they're ahead of the gun on a lot of these things. Um, so Chick Fil A is testing out a pretzel bun right now in Raleigh, and now they have brought back the pretzel bun to Freddy's, but they're offering it with the chicken sandwich. So you can do crispy, you can do grill. Um, plus you've got beer cheese and barbecue on there. So instead of like a mustard sauce, they use barbecue, which a lot of people might prefer. I prefer the mustard sauce, but you know, to each their own. Um, the other thing is they've done, they've introduced their own frosted lemonade type thing, right? It's a lemon cream freeze. They also have an orange cream freeze, which I think also has lemonade in it. Now, if that should give you any ideas, Chick-fil-A, you should be taking some notes. Orange cream, orange frosted lemonade, orange flavored lemonade would be the move. You guys need to look at what Freddy's is doing here. And we're going to do a review real quick, but you guys need to pay attention, Chick-fil-A, because that is a good idea. This is just vibrant orange, absolutely vibrant. So I don't know if they left out the lemonade on accident or not, but we're going to try what we've got, right? To, we're re, re reviewing the burger again because I was just not super impressed last time so we're giving it a second chance it doesn't look great but anyways um first time I've gone to Freddy's where the food doesn't look great but the frost the, the cream freezes oh man they look great so let's get to this please subscribe like and comment on this video uh, I feel like since I've stopped asking people to do that they feel like they should not do that they feel less intrigued to do it oh free regular concrete okay I'll keep that um, so yeah, if I push y'all to the limit and tell y'all, hey, y'all gotta do it, then please do it. They didn't give me straw, so I'm just digging for a straw here. All right, um, I guess I don't really want to eat first, but I guess I'll eat first. I mean, I guess that makes sense. And then we'll, we'll cool it down with some freezes, which is nothing hot about this, but you know, we'll settle down. Put some onions on there. Not a lot. Yeah, this looks sad. Freddy's in Concord Mills. What is up? This is just the saddest looking sandwich from Freddy's I have ever had. But we're gonna we're gonna bite where we got some flavor on it. So let's go for it. Pretzel bun. Yeah, to me. The pretzel bun isn't super flavorful. It's okay. The barbecue on this thing just never makes sense, right? Beer cheese, yes. Barbecue, no. And I think I've told y'all before, leave the barbecue out. Like, I've, you guys watching, I've told y'all as a recommendation, you're best without the barbecue. And it's just not a very good barbecue sauce. It's just not a very good sandwich. It's just mid. Meh. Okay. But it, it gets the trick done, right? It's I don't hate it. It's just there, right? It's a five. Let's go to the burger. Let's let's get let's just get to the get to the good part. Now the burger has American cheese, beer cheese, barbecue. It's got onions for whatever reason. Beer cheese looks sloppy on here. This is just, this is the worst Freddy's trip I've ever had. And I love Freddy's. I love Freddy's. But I made the mistake of going here at Concord Mills, baking on this thing too, and trying it in Concord Mills. And you would have thought Concord Mills is such a bougie place. A lot of nice establishments here. And this is what we have come to be served. I don't know. I do not know. I went to Williamsburg and was not impressed with this last year. It, it goes to show maybe I should just stick to my Suffolk, Virginia location and my Hampton, Virginia location, who have served me well and done good. So I don't know. But let's let's try it. The burger tastes better, no question about it. The beef just more flavor. It makes more sense with the barbecue, but again, I'm not a big fan of that barbecue sauce. I 
I just feel like you could leave it out and it'd be good. Yeah. I give it like a six. It's better, but not by a milestone. Like, the only thing better is the beef. The barbecue sauce is not good. There's not enough beer cheese. And I had this issue at Williamsburg last year. So. Now, hopefully, we're to the good part, right? The lemon frost. Let's try it out. I got a Dunkin' Stroll. That's what I got. And just so you know the price point, because a lot of y'all always ask, I think it was $33. It's either 31 or 33 Either way, rip off. Two sandwiches, two little tiny drinks. And I think the last time I went to Freddy's, I mentioned that. They, they rip you off. And, you know, if it's good, I, you can ignore it. But this was not a good experience. It's pretty good. That way leans more as a milkshake than what Chick-fil-A offers. Chick-fil-A is definitely a little less creamy. Yeah, it's refreshing. Of course, I think you could do better with more flavors. Like if you add, and that's why they're doing orange cream is because why not? You know, why not do something with added flavor? Um, but this is super good for what it is. I'm going to give it an eight and a half. Because the ceiling, you know, it's it's not but so high. All right, moving on to orange cream. All right. Very vibrant, citrusy orange flavor while having lemonade in it. Very interesting. There's not really anyone that does like regular or frosted orange lemonade. And I think Freddie's team was thinking, we got something. We're on to something. We're, we're going we're gonna to change the world with this thing. And I got to say, it's very good. Yeah. Flavorful. Vibrant, very, very enjoyable, very unique. Dare I say better than an orange creamsicle? Maybe. Maybe. I love my orange vanilla pairing, but this is something different. This is something new. And not everyone's had this combination. Yeah. That's that's uh, kind of deadly. I give it a 10. And again, I've been talking about how I really want to try an orange cream latte, and I know it's probably not going to be as good as I would hope, but that's in my vision, it's in my hopes. So seeing this come true, seeing orange lemonade in a fashion, in a form, I'm happy with it, and uh, it really ends this review on a high note. You know, I'm not a big fan of the sandwiches, and but the, but the treats, they did good. So uh, go enjoy your summer with some lemon cream and orange cream drinks and uh, maybe a classic Freddy burger. Maybe don't get the pretzel burger. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your money on that. But yeah, um, other than that, I'll see y'all around. Yay!